Good morning, people. It's Thursday and it's another car boot. A bit frosty this morning, it's just past seven o'clock, so the car boot's been open for two hours and it looks quite busy. House clearance, but it's full of rubbish. Jesus Christ, look at all these people, saddos. So this is the house clearance ones. They seem to like try and overprice their, their junk really. Uh, literally just asking three pound for some Christmas bulbs. <laughs> it's nowhere near Christmas and they're only worth about 9.99 brand new. Look at the quality of that, I mean, rubbish. Got all the shit. How much are your consoles and that? Um, I was doing the PlayStation 2 for 10. Um, I don't know really. You don't know? That's not what you Well, I was saying like £15 earlier, but no one was like, everyone see. kept haggling me down to £10. Because yeah. I had a few of them. Yeah. And. Um, this is just what's left over. It, I suppose it's one of them risks, so, isn't it? You yeah, know, if I, it, I haven't plugged it in the TV. Uh, it's got missing the, the thing, and that's why. It's just a cover. Uh, it's just a cover. People, yeah, they're really picky about stuff like that. How much are your games, anyway? Um, I think they're crap ones, really, aren't they? It's like 50 each. Yeah. I think some of it, I think these are empty as well, but they've got. They said all the Mario games was missing. Oh, that's not Mario. Mario. Oh, Mario, Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What about this? Um, three pounds. I'll give you two. Go on, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do really like him. I love him. Oh, I'm on. One, one of my favourite. One of my favourite films. I do it's sad, isn't it? At the start, the dad dies. Oh, I love them. Yeah, the little yeah, crazy little thing, isn't he? How much is your wheelchair? Oh, I'm all right, mate. It's a good one, mate. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's worth it. It's looking like a wasted journey. Um, it's the only trouble about midweek car boots. You don't get as many normal people because obviously they're working, so it's a lot of tradesmen. All I see is Amazon pallets and stuff like that, and antique dealers. A lot of selling old junk that no one wants. <laughs> they haven't clocked it yet, have they? Uh, how much is it? 70. That's why they don't want the clock. That's why they don't want it. It's not. Bye, mate. You found a new one in the box. <coughs> the box never been used. I'm going to my auction tomorrow night. There's two guys in there. They'll pass over it. Ten above. Fifty, mate. That is. That was a waste of time. I picked up one plush. I can officially say that was the worst car boot so far of the year. But I am near Canic, so I'm going to go to the charity shops around there. Might as well. Got some money to spend, so let's see what we can find. If you're an OG, you remember me used to picking up all stuff like this? Hey. There's some good money in certain ones, not in this one, but yeah. Rubbish, rubbish. Longsdale, who's gonna buy them? How did I spoot it? 20 quid, and they are fake. Look at that. That is more fake than you can get ever. That tag is so rubbish as well. It's not even a tag. Ooh, a bit of golf. That's nice. How much do I want for it? 12 quid for that. 
Jesus Christ. Loma, never heard of him. Not Gore-Tex, but this model. Fetch is 40 quid. That one's all right. But there was a massive chip out of that, so no one's going to pay 40 quid for them. So, PSP there. Looks like with the charger and all them games. Don't know if they've gone with it. We'll find out. Calm down. It doesn't matter. I have had to just sit down in the car. I just came out of that charge shop. You saw the PSP. Guess how much they wanted for it. With the games, yeah, there's a few games, but usually PSPs, you know, like a console bundle, between 70 to 120-ish, yeah. Um, and that's with a lot of games of 120, and usually it's uh, boxed and that. They wanted... 135 quid for a PSP and I think what six games um, and a charger, no box or nothing. 135 quid. Where are they getting these prices from? Are they getting them from when those brand new or something? Oh my god, this is the first charger shop in Canic and it's oh, it's it's annoyed me already. Whoa. Um anyway, let's have hope. Let's have faith that the other charity shops are not a rip-off merchant like you. Ooh, creepy. Nice little things. In the poos. Oh, two pound each. You'd be lucky to get a fiver for it. Two down. Two poles of rubbish. God, this place is a dump. I mean, so many boarded up shops. Look at it all. Dirty. Feels like I'm gonna get stabbed. So this is a pharmacy, and look, they're selling wheelchairs, how cool is that? Look at that wheelchair, two and a half grand, why can't I find one of them? And you think I rip people off, look at that wheelchair, That's I've got like one of them at home, they want 229 quid, and I sell mine for, what, 80, wow. Five quid. Not yeah. even worth five quid. Uh, yeah, Lion King. Yeah, Lion King. Lion King. Nice. Ten quid. Gee. This looks like a vintage wrestler. Mr. Perfect. Oh, it's got the. Uh, oh, it's definitely Mr. Perfect. 1998. Yeah, they usually do something with their arms. It hasn't got a price on it. Three pound fifty. These ones are. That's a lot of money, man, for a figure. For that condition as well. It's poor. Not worth it. Little grave digger thing. Five quid. Oh my god. Do never come to Canuck. Overpriced rubbish. It's a dump. It's not even worth driving past. There is nothing here that wants me to stay here anymore. But I'm just hoping out that something's gonna pop into one of these shops and they've messed up. And that's the thing about reselling is there's always something that they don't check up on because they haven't got a name or a badge on it so hopefully i can find something because at the moment i might as well just go to the shop in front of me because it's cheaper so here's a point to prove 95 quid for a psp yeah without any games so I could get this cheaper here than the other place. Obviously the other one had games with it, but them games are cheap to buy. It just shows how much that place is a rip off. A little independent one. Let's see if these actually have got anything cheap. This is 250 for an Adidas top. It's red, but I'm, not, I'm buying this for myself because I play football on Wednesdays and Fridays and it's reds versus blues and it's a nice long sleeve top 
for 250 that's a bargain if you're starting out to reselling calculators are quite a little good thing to buy a calculator like this you get about five to eight quid this is a quid so it's worth picking up but not for me it's, it's not enough money five charity shops and i picked up one thing for myself this place is <laughs> there isn't a word for this place it's so bad it's just horrible it's like, oh. we got one charity shop called compton sounds like something out of a nwa song um and then we've got two big warehouses which are like on a retail park and then that's it so three more charity shops left am i gonna get something or is it just gonna be another wasted journey to canic let's see how much the toys are here it's a good way of seeing how pricey the shop is hulk avengers one obviously from endgame <laughs> I picked up one of these before, haven't I? And they don't fetch money. And I bought a boy for my son. Absolutely cool thing. Four quid, yeah. It's worth four quid. Oh, to resell? Not. It only is worth a tenner. Oh. Any toys? Oh, just no baby plushies, isn't it? So as you can see, there is three big shops. I don't know what the new life one, I think that's just random stuff. We got this big shop where it uh, sells everything, big charity shop. And then we got new life home. I think the new life one is clothing and bits and bobs, like ex warehouse stuff. So we're gonna go in all three. I've got to find something in one of these. I mean, look at the size of them. They're like massive. If I don't find anything in these, what is the point? So mix and match, one pound 99, four for five, nine. For... See what this is around. Like Amazon returns stuff, isn't it? But they've got a big shop of it. Oh god! What a load of rubbish! Tat tat tat. Straight away, a lot better. But who's going to pay fifty quid for that? Let's really see how much of a rip-off merchants these are. I've just seen these. Right, you could probably get about twenty quid, twenty-five quid max if these were like minked condition, second hand. Look at the state of them. They are dead. 15 quid. Absolute joke, man. Absolute disgusting joke. Caramels. Pick these up at car boots all day long for two, three quid. Eight quid. You know where that can go. What a joke. Rip-off merchants. Here you go, some biker boots. Nothing special. 25 quid. What are these? No name is 5 quid. Oh, I really want to say something, but I'll get banned. Oh, foot massage. So, just checked out the prices. On Amazon, they're selling these for 35 quid in the sale at the moment, so. That's not even worth it. And the one's 16 quid. Day's wheelchair, very nice one. Escape light. You probably, I'd sell this for. These ones don't sell for that much. Brand new, about 150 quid. So you're looking around the 60 quid, maybe 70 quid, but max if you're really good condition. Like this one is a really good condition. 90 quid. Right. That's me walking out because this place is a joke. I'm never coming back here again. This is the thing, right? That's a charity shop. 
they're supposed to be helping people. How is that helping anybody? You know, they've got that free. They should be doing that for 35 quid, you know, cheaper than eBay prices. It's actually more expensive. Just proved it on the screen that how much you can buy one of them on eBay and they're charging 90 quid. And they think that charity shops are there to help people. They're not. Oh, I'm so angry. This place is driving me insane. Yes, it's another ranting video because this is truthful. This is a real reason to rant. I'm gonna show you the next shop. This is like the homeware shop and they have lots of suitcases. We all know how much a suitcase is at like a B&M. This farm, the cheap ones are 39, then it goes 49, then it goes 59, right? These are all second hand, got scuffs on them. And look at the prices. 64 quid, 54 quid. 79 quid and it's got scuffs all over it you can go to B&M now and get the exactly same one for cheaper and brand new absolute joke rip off merchants I have had some rants on videos before but I lost count of how many rants I was doing today I have never been to a place I mean I, I did a video about Canic last time and how rubbish it was for like picking up stuff. But these last few shops, oh my God, they have made me so angry. Resellers get a bad name, right? People either like resellers or they don't like resellers because they think that we are taking advantage of people because we buy stuff cheap and then sell it for more. Um, No, we just know the prices of stuff and you know, we're selling on a global platform. That's why prices are, they are, because we're sending them all over the world. And you know, it can go anywhere in the country. You're not relying on that little area to buy your stuff. But when you see charity shops pricing stuff that me as a person, luckily I'm a reseller, so I know the value of certain things. And me going in there and actually thinking, wow, they are ripping the general public off. There's a lot of things in today's video that I would never buy, even if I wanted it myself. I said, I only bought that Adidas top because it's £2.50. You can't buy an Adidas top anywhere for £2.50, except for like the really cheap, shoddy ones where in Sports Direct, where you can get two for 20 quid or whatever it is. You know, like one of them climate ones, you're looking around 25 quid. Uh, 1999 brand new so it's £2.50 and it looks brand new like virtually so yeah and I bought it for myself the charity shops in the centre absolutely all was rip off merchants but they was nothing compared to these new life who is owning this company they need to be taken off anything about helping people these are there's no one going to be having a new life from these people because I have never seen such extortionate prices. And that wheelchair, oh my God, that just, that was it. I was just, I was just fuming after that um, because you know I buy walkers, you know I buy wheelchairs and I pick them up for cheap off people because I find them hard to get rid of, even at cheap prices, unless you're a reseller who's going to buy them and ship them because no one likes shipping them. 90 quid for a wheelchair that is selling for 50 to 60 pound. Like I said, it's round about 50 to 60 pound for one of them. They don't fetch much, the ones with the small wheels. The self propel ones sell for more because you can move yourself where the other ones are, they're more like where you got to be pushed around and stuff like that. Um, it was really nice. I'm not going to admit, it was a really nice, clean one. But £90, you can buy a brand new one for £150. And you're going to get, obviously, your warranty and everything. I'd rather buy a new one. Absolutely disgusting. But it didn't stop there because I went to the next bag of crap. Sorry for, I don't swear, but crap's like what I will say. Because these are bags of crap. Every single one of them. Um... The new life at home, I'm looking at you now, 
you piece of rubbish, you money grabbing scammers, you sausages, as Tyson Fury would say. Oh my God. Them suitcases. I'm going away. I've bought a suitcase anyway, but it's a material one. Picked up for three quid. I don't really want one of them. I've got a hard shell suitcase. You know, they're the really good ones. But they're heavy. You know, we have a weight category, you know, 22 things. And I think they're about 15 kg, them ones anyway. So I want a lightweight one, like the ones I showed you. They're nothing special. They're called IT suitcases. I used to be like a manager at B&M. And they sell them. Like I said in the video, £39 for the small one, or £49, £59 for the next size up, and the most expensive one was £69. They might have gone up, but remember these are brand, brand new. Um, and you saw the prices in there. These are second hand. Got scuffs on them. Yeah, they might not be completely battered, but they've still got scuffs on. Why would you spend... That amount of money on a suitcase that's not even good. I wouldn't even get the B&M ones. They're okay, but they do break. We, I had loads of um, returns on them because the zips break on them all the time. And the plastic's flimsy. As soon as it gets bashed, it cracks. So they're absolutely rubbish. That's why when you get your Carlton, your Samsonite ones, uh, they're still going. And they're like 20, 30 years old because they're proper hard shells. These are not like fake plastic, you know. And... Yeah, just annoyed me. So annoying. The best thing about today's trip up to Canic was the McDonald's. That was it. That was actually nice. And actually, that was worth the money. Everything else was a waste of time. So, if you are anywhere near Canic, if you're anywhere remotely near Canuck and thinking about coming into Canuck, don't bother. One, it's a dump. Two, it's overpriced. And three, you're going to get scammed. Anyway, enough of me ranting because I've just ranted for another eight minutes. But it needs to be said. If you enjoyed me ranting for basically probably 20, 30 minutes, then obviously give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'm leaving this Mechanic, like quick style. See you again. Bye bye.